1947, Edwin Land invented instant film. With his invention, he created a company that we all know today as Polaroid. In 2008, Polaroid took the turn for the worst. To stay afloat, they closed down their last factory that made instant film. Later that year, a group of people bought the factory because they didn't want to lose all of Polaroid's unique cameras because there was no film for them. Polaroid kept the chemistry for the film a secret, though. So the group of people had to remake all the chemistry of the film from scratch. They knew it would be impossible. They didn't give up, however, and in 17 months, they created black and white film and a new company called The Impossible Project. Now that you know the struggles of instant film, let's go in depth with the chemistry. When you see the flash, that's when all the chemistry begins. When the flash goes off, it allows for the photons to be captured, bouncing them off the mirror and then going into the film. Photons pa then pass through plastic, where they hit the silver bromide. This film is colored film though, so the first layer reacts with blue light, the second with green, and the third with red. The layers of silver bromide are then paired up with dyes, yellow with blue, magenta with green, and cyan with red. All the dyes are hydroquinone. Developing dye then comes into effect when the photo is pushed through rollers. Potassium thiosulfate is a developing agent, and potassium hydroxide dye blocks out all the light so the film gets a blackroom effect. With all of this, the film is ready to be developed. As you can see, I'm not a professional photographer. If you'd like to learn more, please go visit chemistryslife.com. Thanks for watching.